Hello everybody, my name is Beano, and like I promised in my last video, today I'm going to be covering Cooking in the Burning Crusade. Cooking in the Burning Crusade is pretty easy to level up, especially if you're leveling it along with fishing. But you can also make a lot of headway by just saving the meat you collect while you're questing to 70. Okay, so what am I going to be covering in this video? First off, I'm going to let you know where you need to go to train, then I'll cover how you're going to level up, and finally I will cover all the recipes that you're going to be able to learn in the Burning Crusade. To start cooking, you will need to train your cooking to 375 by buying a master cookbook from your faction hub in Hellfire Peninsula. For the Horde players, you will be able to buy your book from Baxter and Thralmar, and Alliance players, you can get your book from Gaston and Honor Hold. Both vendors are located in the inn of each town. Okay. On the next slide, I'm going to cover how to level up your cooking. Leveling your cooking is pretty straightforward in that each recipe will give you 20 levels in orange, 10 levels in yellow, and 10 in green. What I've done on this slide is to make an outline of when you can learn each recipe and when it will turn yellow for you. This will help you in planning your path to leveling your cooking. Each recipe will normally overlap the next tier by 10 levels. This gives you a lot of flexibility in how you level up your cooking skill. So for example, last time I leveled my cooking, I leveled it along with fishing, and this is how I leveled up. I went from 300 to 310 with black and trout and fail tail delight, 311 to 350 with black and spore fish, or until the recipe grayed out for me, then 351 to 365 with golden fish sticks, again till the recipe grayed out, then I went 366 to 375 with Crunchy Serpent for one of my Guildy Warlocks, but I could have easily done it with Spicy Crawdads. The reason I did it this way is because I was playing a Resto Shaman. As a Resto Shaman, the MP5 and plus healing foods were what was important to me. So I was able to level up my cooking, making the foods that I would use the most, and that is the great thing about BC cooking. You can level it up with things that are useful to you. And it doesn't have to be just fish or meat. You can mix them any way you want. On the next slide, I have built a table of all the recipes that should be in the launch of TBC to help you plan your path to max cooking. Here is the cookbook. What I've done on this slide is put together a list of all the cooking recipes that should be available at the launch of Classic BC, along with where you can buy the recipe. I've also included the reagents for each recipe so you know what to keep while you're leveling. And for the meat, I've added a link to the mobs that drop the meat so you know where to farm if you want to. For the fish, I will provide a link to my fishing guide in the comments below. Okay, the last thing I'm going to add in here is the recipes that will be added in in a later content patches, or should be in later content patches. First is Kayleen. The recipes were added to Kayleen in patch 2.1.2. You can find her in the tavern in the lower city. Out of the three recipes she offers, the only one that is really any good is the Fisherman's Feast, which is another option for her 30 stam food besides the spicy crawdads. The other recipes come from the cooking dailies, which were added in patch 2.3.2, or the ZA patch. You can pick up your cooking dailies from the Rook in the lower city. Thank you everybody for watching my video. If you've not seen my fishing video, please check it out. The link is posted in the comments below. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.